Well, it's that time of year again. We've finished the Brim ABT qualifying series and all of the open events for the year. And at this time of the year, I like sitting down, checking out some of the significant catches, but more importantly, all of the different baits that I had to utilise to get my second place AOY finish and, of course, that Australian Open win in Sydney Harbour. So we'll take you through some of the baits, some of the catches, and maybe there are some hints in here for you to catch more fish in your part of the world. Now, let's start off with the crowd favourite, Cranker's Heavy Olive Cranker Crab. Normally gets bitten on the drop, and I've fished a lot of it this year on straight through fluorocarbon, either three or four pound. One of them made it. I don't know if he's that big. Mm, he probably is alright. <laughs> Look at that thing. Cranky. Get cranky, cranky pants. Still got the head shakes going on. Cranky cranky pants. He was a little bit got a little bit stung at the start, didn't he? It's like, ow! The good thing is, there's 30 of them this size under there. At least that's what the garment's telling me. Got the 39, but he's close to a killer, I reckon. Uh, come here, mate. Come here, come here, come here. It's it. Getting bigger. They're getting bigger. You're close enough there to get a shot. Yeah. Getting bigger. Moving on to Malakuta, and early in the morning, my best search bait was a Mega Bass Dog X Junior that I threw as far as I could on braid and leader combo to keep that lure up and buoyant. Um, big long casts, walking the dog, and frequent pauses gave the brim the chance to suck it down. Oh, that's him. See him suck it down. <laughs> First, did boil that. It just came up and licked it down. Nice one. Is he black? No, uh, yellow. It's yellowish. Looks it. He's one of the right ones, isn't he? Number two, you just gotta be patient with the big toppies. Stop it. It's probably a 33 or something like that. Big mama. Now, when the clouds came over at Malakuta, I took the opportunity to fish some of the real shallow, muddy flats with a bent minnow. I'd done really well the year before on that bait, and the fish were still up shallow chasing i assume prawns in that shallow water and that jerky pausey retrieve got on biting the rod i'm using for this is one of the daiwa sk series rod it's seven foot three and it's now my favorite bent minnow rod Bigger than I thought he was. Okay, it's all good. No, it's all good. Okay. All right. Yep. Come here, little black fella. Gotcha. Right. Number five. He's on the new uh, skeleton seed SK dialer, which I may or may not have borrowed off Tommy Slater, in which he may or may not be getting back. <laughs> Now day two at Malakuta, totally different day, calm, sunny conditions. I took advantage of a cicada bite early in one of the creeks, fishing it on the uh, the finesse bait cast tackle from Daiwa. Really interesting way to fish it. Use the reel a lot of the time to give the bait the action, and then when I hook up, that braid and line pointing straight at the fish gets them in there. 
Worked really well early Got in the morning. Teabagged him out of the tree. Good fish too. Out of the tree on the tea bag. Bagged him out of the tree. That's five. Now, when that sun got high and it got real slick calm at Malakuta, the fish start cruising just under the surface and highly there's visible. And my slick right trick of the old squidgy flick bait with the Aberdeen jig head hook, weight, rigged weightless. Um, you throw yeah. it at them and they eat it. Yeah, One of the few uh. techniques that works in these situations. It's enough for an upgrade. Could be a 29. They were just two fish sitting in the middle up there. Sight cast and got. Now, after the Victorian road trip, the next event doesn't count for AOY, but it was a Brim Australian Open on Sydney Harbour. This is what happened. My very first fish of the Diwa Brim Australian Open was this one. Nearly a kilogram of Brim caught on an aqua as it's sinking down. I fished the aquas on braid and a six pound leader, and this way is how you catch most of them with this technique. Come on, big mama. That's a proper one. Look at the ears, it's a nice one. Don't you spit that hook out. Don't you spit that hook out. And when I say the hook, it's a Van Fook Magic Beak number one unweighted worm hook. Come here, mate, come here. Come here, mate. Got him, look at that. Let's start off with the kegger, eh? <laughs> That's how you start the open. No, nah, that is a giant. It's not super fat, but look better. It looks better in the net. Number one. And although it wasn't the main player in the open, caught quite a few fish on the Daiwa Kadachi crankbait on boat hulls. Oh, there they come up. Bite. Got him. Kind of around the... It's not a big fish. Oh, look at them all trying to steal it out of his mouth. But the real money bait for me at the Brim Australian Open was Outback Brimmer Baits Muss in both the light and the heavier configurations. Lighter for the edges, and heavy for the deeper moored boats. And I fished them everywhere on three pounds straight through. I saw that one, ran, oh, is that a good one? Randomly just bolting, yeah, that's a big one. Randomly bolting around, I go, I bet she's got a lure in his mouth. This is one we need, I reckon. Get out of there. The head shake on him. You'll see here that I don't fish that three pound too hard. I don't red line the drag because if they touch something, they'll break off. I just drag them out with the boat, light drag pressure, and just try to steer them out into the deeper water and away from trouble. And most of the time, it works a treat. Now, I wasn't nervous this morning when I started fishing. I'm nervous now when I've got a big one on. This is one of the ones we need. This one, this is an over 30, this one. Come on, mate, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, 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 come on,
<laughs> yeah! That might be the one. That is a big one. Don't you go over the edge. It's not a kilo, but he's like, he's probably a good 850 grams, 900 grams. I'll try a bit short of that. Uh, oh, they're clouding on mine. Yep, I got him. You keep fishing that. Straight after the open, we were off to the Hawkesbury for another qualifier. And for me, it was a mix of old and new techniques. Right here, Sticky fishing fish. two pounds straight through on Might my stick be. minnows. Love using those to catch school fish under moored boats in the sunshine, but also used some shallow mussels uh, to target suspended fish out in the open. Yeah, he's a better one. It's on the new Daiwa SK rods. These are so Did you ever feel of them at the briefing last night? No, I didn't get a chance. Oh, they were just, they just weigh nothing. Even compared to a normal infeet. It's just right behind your foot there too. If, you're good. if you know it's there, you're all good. Yeah, he's a proper one. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. There you go, that's what we want. 30 somethings. I reckon he's a 30. So he's, I nearly count him as fish number one for the day. Yeah, it's nice, isn't he? There's plenty of fish under this boat. Next event on the tour was in winter time at Lake Macquarie. There is a heap of fish under this boat. And do you see a pattern here? Clear water, schools of fish, sink a stick minnow down there on two pound line. Hey, one's going down for it, you gonna eat it? He's got it. This is a proper one, I think. Just shaking his head. Jeez. Look at him, look at him. That's a big fish. Not Adam Bixney size big fish. That's big. Well, he's, he hasn't even woken up. He's probably not going to come in easily, this one. Oh, oh come on, boy, boy. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet, this one. All right, here he comes. He might give us a shot. Just wait till his head breaks the surface and we'll... Okay, here we go. Got him, thank you very much. Nice one. That's a good start. <laughs> it's about an 800 grammer. That's on the stick minnow. There's plenty of throw in there again. There'll be plenty of that. Yeah, he's about a 34, I reckon. Bag full of those today would be nice. Choke the little stick, you know. Big head on him. He's not as fat as some of the ones yesterday, but he's got all of those hooks in his pie hole. And like happens at many events, the whole pattern changed for me halfway through the event. Found some shallow fish and ended up catching them on bent minnows, where I started the event in 20 foot of water, catching them on stick minnows. Go figure. Oh, that's a good boil. Come on, who wants to eat it? Yeah. That one wants to eat it. Oh, it's a head shake. No, it's covered in weed, that's why.
the biggest one today so far, covered in the cockleweed, fatso. That's what I want in here. That's cockleweed, cockle on the end. Next event, Queensland Open on the Moreton Bay Day. And look how calm it is, but I found fish willing to eat a shallow cranker crankbait on these boat hulls at low tide. It only a foot of water. So the lure I'm using is a little shallow diving cranker crankbait. For the live viewers, that's uh, it's about 35 mil long. It suspends a little bit, so and it doesn't go too deep. So if it goes too deep here, it's just going to end up in the weed. But also the broom, I think, is suspending up under the hulls of the boat, so I don't want it to dive sort of underneath them. Oh, that's another one. That's another good one. Get out of there. He's just shaking his head. This is in literally a foot and a half of water under that boat. Looks like he's mid-20s, mid mid-high-20s. Mid he's just shaking that crankbait under the surface. It's not as big as the last one, but it will be crankbait number three. I mean, broom number three. And the open is starting good. A little prawn cranker. And as the tide rises in Morton Bay over the shallow, rocky and sandy flats, there's one lure you'd better be grabbing, and that's the Atomic Hards 38 in deep. In any of the natural colours, they can pull upgrade fish like this out of extremely shallow water. Oh, right there it ate it. That one's all right. Look at him shaking his head. Yep. You'll notice I'm just dropping the power poles here to keep position because when you find one fish on a flat like this, you can guarantee there are going to be more and you'll probably catch another one on the next cast. This will be an upgrade of a couple of centimetres, I hope. See, where were these fish before? 100 casts on this flat, never got a bite. Now they've stormed the, stormed the flats. The boat is not a snag that you can hide under. <laughs> he goes, I, dis I disagree. <laughs> that's an upgrade up. Nice, that's the biggest one today, that one. Ooh. Now the Queensland Open is fished over two days, one day on Moreton Bay and the second day here on the Gold Coast. And catching a fish on a bridge on a crab isn't particularly new, but watch this technique. I'm sinking the lure down halfway to the bottom and then slow rolling along the pylons, catching suspended fish that are looking up, not down. Not a big one. Yes, it is. <laughs> they all get bigger as they get on deck. Actually, he's fat, he's not long. I don't think he might get upgrade. They're swimming the crab above the bottom next to the pylons. Come here, mate. Come here, come here. Now, for me, the Gladstone Arena has become synonymous with a couple of things. Crankbaits on bridges and rock piles, and of course, top water. There's one. Come here. It's the elephant, I think. No, it's a decent one, though. It's the elephant. 
I did see a few decent yellow fins, probably bigger than this yesterday on the bridge, but they didn't eat. So good sign, I might be biting this morning. Now the final qualifier of the year and my best finish in the qualifiers was at the Gold Coast and it was way out of my comfort zone fishing for school fish in 15 to 20 feet of water using both heavy cranker crabs and the new Rapala Crush Shitty Suspects both on two and three pound line. Want the head shake on that. That's an alright one. That's alright. The biggest one so far. Gotcha! Getting bigger. Might be a 28 and a half or something like that. Pin brims. Now, one of the exciting things we did this year was learn how to embed our live sonar images into the live stream. So this is straight from the live stream, throwing Rapala's Crush City Suspect. You can see the brim really nearly indistinguishable from the bottom. They're sitting that tight to it. So it was all about dragging that lure where they could find it. This is feel bigger on the crab rod. It's weird. I'm fishing the crab on the fishing the crab on the finesse rod. I'm fishing the plastic on the crab rod. So this has got to be bigger. It feels alright. Everything feels big on three pound line. I don't think it's going to quite be thirty, but that'll definitely help. Wrong with that one? Look at that big fat jumping pin fish. That plastic down his pie hole. So now you've got another must have brim lure, the Imposter's the prawn one. That's a must have. This was supposed to be a bass lure, but my non Bodie SD Pete Clark whacked them on it. Timmy just gave me a handful of them. And you see how good they've been eating them. Now you've got to have a suspect for brim as well. Little paddle tail. Look what he's done to that hook. Or maybe I've done it to it on the way up, but that's a 30 again. Sweet. And the final event for 2023 is the Daiwa Brim Series Grand Final at Port Stephens in New South Wales. Any or all of these techniques will work on that arena. Remember, you can keep an eye on all of the live results and coverage from all ABT Brim, Bass and Barrow events on www.abt.org.au.